want to thank you for the opportunity that we come together to worship you, to bless you, to be God and praise. This is a train coming in, but I'm going to train to go on.
It's such an honor and privilege to be back up here with y'all. We'll get to that later. We're going to stay right here where we are right now. I don't have a song right now. All I have is just the worship. Y'all just, if you would just close your eyes with me, just <coughs> however you worship the Lord, just worship the Lord. Now. If you want to lift your hands, lift your hands. If you want to stand, stand. If you want to kneel, you know, however it is that you worship. Lord, I'm saturated in your love right now. If there were ever words to describe that, I'm sure don't have any. Just begin to thank you for his love and grace and mercy toward you. Don't let your enemy keep your mind stuck in the stuck places of life. But allow the Holy Spirit to remind you of where it is that He's brought you from. And how good He's given to you. He's so simple. So Thomas pride comes in. And boost us up when we begin to think, well, look at what I've done. Look at what I've built. Look at what I've accomplished. But if I could just redirect your attention this morning on who it is that, that puts a breath in your lungs. And who it is that puts a strength in your bones. And who it is that not only assembled but wrote the protocol for the nerves in your mind to work and fire the protons and the neutrons and the electrons to work together as they work together for the molecules and the atoms to combine form you and he you before he ever sent you he knew you he knew you in all your failures With all your mistakes, all of your rebellion. You know what he said? I love you anyway. And you might have said, Lord, I don't know why you took me today. It don't matter whether or not you understand it, it's no belief. I love you. But Lord, if you sit high and you look low where you see all things and you see the intentions of my heart, you know that I did this knowingly. I knew I was going bad and did it anyway. He said, yeah, that's where I loved you most. Oh, Jesus. We've gotten so twisted. We think the Lord loves us the most whenever we're doing the best. That's what we're supposed to do. But it takes true love and patience to come to that child whenever they're so wayward. And you just want to wash your hands of them. And be like, look, you ain't my problem no more. You a grown man, you a grown woman, you ain't my problem no more. You knew good, but you chose bad. You were not my problem. The Lord said, you are my problem. And it's not my problem, it's my pleasure. It's my good pleasure to bless you. I ain't only going to bless you, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless your seed. I'm going to bless your seed, your seed. I'm going to bless your seed, seed, seed. Because I love you. Yeah. 
Hallelujah.